Arkham. Now, Arkham could easily end up working with governments. Arkham is looking at de-anonymizing the, um, the blockchain uh, using data, on-chain data. And as a concept, I'm really not a fan. I think that's quite against the principles of crypto. And whilst crypto is pseudo-anonymous, it's not truly anonymous, something like this I don't agree with. However, there are some pluses that will be spouted out a lot about this that are worth talking about. And we'll talk, take a look at where this can go this cycle. Before I get into it though, guys, um, if you're new to the channel, these are the first 26 coins that I actually did videos about. When I did the videos, I showed myself buying these coins as well because they expected they were going to make me a lot of cash. Now, if you'd have done the same, say you popped $100 into the coins when I released the videos, you'd have gotten in at these prices. All you would have had to do is sit on those coins for 16 months and you'd have been able to sell at these prices and your total profit from uh, 100 into each of them in under a year and a half would have been over 123 grand. Now, the thing is, is we are in a bull cycle. You don't have... 16 months you don't even have a couple of months to get your portfolio sorted september we're gonna have rate cuts we're gonna have huge money printing in america those were big catalysts in 2021 for kicking prices on if you're sitting on coins that you're not confident in then it's time to sort that out if you go to copymycrypto.com have a look at the site on there you'll see what my members have earned you'll see the successes we've had everything on there is public record Copymycrypto.com is where I share with my members the coins that I own. And whenever I buy or sell any crypto, I tell my members the crypto that I'm buying or selling and the price that I'm going to do it at. This means my members get in and out of cryptos at the same price as me, so they make the same profit, but they don't have any work to do. And if you're, again, sitting in the situation of having a bunch of coins you're not confident in, then just go have a look at the site, read it all, verify it all. And if you like what you see, try it out, guys. Now, Arkham, <clears throat> they've added a community sentiment tab. That's interesting. Okay, oh, what's going on here? It's logged me out, hence all the cookies crap. Okay, so Arkham, currently priced at uh, $1.12. So as I said, it's a blockchain analysis platform. It uses AI to de-anonymize the blockchain and on-chain data. Again, from my perspective, very much against the principles of crypto. The point of it was pseudo-anonymity at least. I mean, realistically, an anonymity would be nice, right? But there are limitations to the anonymity. There are roadblocks to anonymity now. You know, you cannot have privacy coins in the EU because they hate it and they the EU government claim that it's used for money laundering and funding terrorism. Maybe deal with the banks that actually do the money laundering. That would be nice. Instead, they go after cryptos like Monero, etc. So we're never going to have... And realistically, the last bastion of like... of countries within the world that actually seem to give a crap about rights... Or is America, you know, the uh, citizens talk about the Constitution, they talk about the right to privacy. The question is always going to be how much do people care about it? Um, because when the Snowden revelations happened, we didn't see the streets full of millions of people, which it should have been. So I always wonder how much people truly care. Arkham itself dealing with de-anonymizing these pseudo-anonymous addresses. They're not talking about the Moneros of the world, but they're talking about use, you basically utilizing AI for an on-chain data to, to show what's happening. Um, now, the, the, the plus here on the, on the selling point from a, what's their... Um, what's their unique quality is that because of what they can do, they can identify fraudsters, they can, ver they can track stolen funds, um, they can investigate hacks, rug pulls, everything, right? So there is potential here in terms of the relief of some and the, and the investigative uh, powers to look into crimes and there's unfortunately a hell of a lot in the crypto space right now and there has been for many many years um so th that's a really big plus because if they can actually 
build enough evidence on chain, then maybe governments take things more seriously. And 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 um police or detectives or you know whatever iteration is around in each country maybe they start taking it more seriously because as of right now there is very little effort put in by uh, authorities to try and catch fraudsters um rug pullers it just doesn't happen um i know this from speaking to authorities in the past uh with regards to like some of the obvious rug pulls that have happened. So there is a big plus here for Arkham from that principle. The problem is, is obviously, as I've said, I think there is a real negative. I think the negative outweighs the positive here. I think the negative of de-anonymizing the blockchain is against all the principles of blockchain. I also think fundamentally whilst um, it doesn't collect or store any personal data from users, um, it does have the capacity to sh to basically know, to sh share or to even just simply know what people own. From there, I think there is, there, there are serious questions in terms of your own privacy, your own, well, your own feelings about the situation. I'm just not a fan. Uh, Miguel Morel founded Arkham. He's a veteran entrepreneur in crypto. He, nav he, ex he has experience navigating new crypto markets. Uh, makes him um, familiar with the intelligence needs of decision makers in government, venture capital, and trading. He's also an investor in a number of tech startups. They raised a huge amount of money. Um, they raised a nice 10 mil in two rounds of equity financing. Uh, I expect that that is going to fly up as well because, you know, good, big names, OpenAI co-founder, you've got Palantir co-founder, Joe Lonsdale, Tim Draper, uh, Wintermute, GSR, Jeff Lewis, big, big names that are investors. And the thing is, is as of right now, Arkham don't necessarily, don't necessarily have ties with authorities Let's, or, or governments, but let's be honest, we can absolutely see this coming. And if they do end up with some sort of relationship with US government, EU government, um, this can absolutely rock it up. What I don't, and, and that's kind of the bet that you're placing really, does... See, there you go, filter for transactions, and you can just start searching for, look, search for people. Fundamentally, I am not a fan of this at all. Um, but I do think this could make a lot of money. Because I don't, I see a world where these guys can absolutely nail down partnerships with, um, with governments. So let's have a look, Snoop. See, Snoop Dogg, you should not just be able to search people. I just don't. Bleh. Anyway. Um, yeah. I think they can nail down a really significant partnership with big, big governments. Uh, as of right now, Circulate Supply is only 20% of the total. Uh, but it's going to take a while. Like There's, there's not going to be an all, all of a sudden an 800 million uh, token dump on the market. So I think chances of it breaking its previous high of around, you know, four bucks, give or take, uh, should be pretty easy. I actually think this can get up to double digits. I think there is a world where this can get up to 20, 25 bucks, maybe even more. Because again, all it needs, one big announcement of a partnership with a government, and this is going to rock it. Whether, however you feel about Arkham as a concept, whether you're pro or, or against, Clearly, you know where I stand on it. Um, there's money to be made. I'm against CBDCs, but if there's a crypto that I think is going to get a CBDC, I'd invest in it because it's going to make a lot of money. This, that's, this is the game. Arkham, one big announcement from a government, one big announcement from 
you know, a jurisdiction, and Arkham could absolutely rock it. I think there is an, absolutely a world where this gets to 20 bucks or more. And if they are, if they end up working directly with <clears throat> authorities such as the Department of Justice in America or the commodities uh, CFTC or the, or the SEC, there is a world where this can absolutely skyrocket well beyond just 20 bucks. I think there is a real, real potential here. Just, we don't want to see this spread beyond their intended purpose. And that's my big concern is that they do. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Are you pro Arkham? Do you like, would you sooner they catch fraudsters, hucksters, rug pullers, or would you just sooner you have your privacy? Where do you stand on it? Because I think privacy is a weird one. A lot of people talk a good game about privacy, but very few people really give a toss about it. It's my experience with these conversations. Anyway, uh, so share what you think in the comments. And guys, look, we're in a bull cycle right now. If you don't have your portfolio up to scratch, it is time to get that sorted. Next month, we're going to have money printing hugely in America, along with um, along with rate cuts. Those two things in 2021 push prices much, much higher. Next month should be a banger of a month. And if you are sitting on a load of crap coins, you're going to watch everyone making money while you don't. That's a rubbish position to be in. If that is you, get onto copymycrypto.com, have a look at the site, have a look at what my members have made, read their testimonials, watch the videos. Everything on there is public record so you can verify it on the history of this channel. Copymycrypto.com is where I do all the work. I dive into the markets and when I find a coin that's going to make me a lot of money, I get it and I tell my members about the coin, the price I'm buying it at. When I sell, I tell my members the coin I'm selling and the price I'm selling at. So my members are in and out of crypto, same price as me. So they make the same profit, but they don't have any work to do at all. And again, if that sounds good to you, read through the whole site, verify everything that you see. And if you like what you see, try the service out, guys. And that is it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.